Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do, it is going to be a get ready with me. I'm gonna show you how I got this look here. I am using a, a full, or I am doing a full face of black owned makeup brands. My friend Karen Harris started a playlist recently uh, where you can add in videos that are focused on black owned makeup brands, whether they be get ready with me, tutorials, reviews, first impressions, hauls, anything like that. So there's already a bunch of videos added to that playlist. I will link it down below, but I definitely wanted to I have a few videos on it already but I definitely wanted to do this one right now um, I have spoke about it in a past YouTube video and also on some of my other platforms but uh, I am supporting the Black Lives Matter movement I've been trying to do my best with sharing uh, on social media but also doing my part to learn offline finding different resources different books to read and podcasts and uh, different ways to donate so I will also have a bunch of different resources and links that I I highly recommend that you check out in my description box uh, but I definitely wanted to do this video also and to be able to add it to Karen's playlist I thought that was such a great idea if you're not familiar with Karen, I will also link her channel down below. I've done a collab with her recently and I have also met her in person. I just think that she is a great human. So I will also link her channel and um, you know, I thank her for having an idea where we could all put our videos. If you want to find other black owned makeup brands to support, that would be amazing. But I'm excited to show you how I got this look because I am using a new eyeshadow palette. That is the Wahala palette from Juvia's Place and I'm really loving how I got this look. And then otherwise we have a full face of black owned makeup brands. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and seeing me get this look and why don't we go ahead and get started. Hello. Okay, starting off with the eyes. So I am using the Juvia's Place Bahala palette. So this is their latest eyeshadow palette release. I did get this sent over from Juvia's Place. Uh, looks like so. Very beautiful palette. I have done one other look with it so far and that was a tutorial for my Instagram. It's not up yet over there, but uh, it will be coming. I've just not been posting as much uh, this week, but that will be coming. I have a picture of the palette and also swatches that is up on my Instagram, so I will insert a clip of those swatches here too so you can see it. I have the 20 different shades. The first look that I did focused over in this section here, which, you know, screams me. <laughs> uh, love those colors, but I wanted to do something more along these shades for today so i started on one eye just to kind of get an idea of what i want it to do so first up i'm going to take the shade fire in the top row and i am using a like a smaller blending brush this is from the makeup molly doll 10 kit this is the uh, shadow starter and i am just going to start to place this on the outer part of my eye and kind of tap it along out here. I do have my eye primer already down, but I'm just gonna start to focus that on the outer part of my eye. And I really don't need to build up the shadow too much because I mean, I mean, you can see like the things are already happening, but I'm just gonna come in again and tap and blend. Picking up a larger blending brush, this is from Moda. It is their Crease BMX 430. And I'm gonna use the shade Woke, which is this one right here in the corner. And I am just going to run this through my crease and kind of blend that fire shade a little bit more too. And I really liked the color combination of these two. I wasn't really sure how it was going to look, but I actually thought it looked really fun. And then I was just kind of playing back and forth with these two shades. Like I'm going to build up a little bit of fire. Then I might blend it out again with the Awoke shade before I come in with some shimmer. When I was coming in with the shimmer, I first actually went in with Rumors, which is right here, and I didn't love it. I didn't feel like it was what I wanted, so then I came in with Unshook. I think I can just go ahead and go in with Unshook, and I don't think it really, like, messed with it a ton, but I'm kind of scared, but... Uh, just to be honest there, you know, I'm not the best at coming up with looks and putting different colors together. Like, this is, you know... It's just not, I'm not the best at it, okay? I know my strengths and weaknesses. Uh, but I'm going to use the Sigma Cream Color E58 and go into Unshook. And I'm going to start to 
place that on the inner and middle part of my eye and just kind of patting it over the fire and the woke shades i haven't sprayed my brush so this is a dry brush but i felt like it was totally fine okay i feel like i can see just a little bit like especially right on the really inner part of the rumors so i'm just going to use the other side of the brush and i'm going to touch a sh the rumors just like really close on the inner corner just because i feel like you can see it a little bit over here i was like do i follow the exact same step and do or do i just like <laughs> I wasn't really sure what the best course of action was. Um, but then again, I'm going to come down and place a little bit of that unshook over it. Again, just going to grab my bigger blending brush and go through and blend everything here. Okay. That's where I'm going to leave my eyes for the moment. Let's go ahead and switch over to the face. Moving over to my face, I'm going to start with my primer. I have the one from Fenty Beauty. This is the Soft Silk Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. So I'm just going to use a couple pumps here and run that along my face. So I do also have a foundation from Fenty Beauty. I have the Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation. I was thinking about using that one to use it along with the primer, but it is a few shades lighter. I am slowly starting to get a bit of my summer tan. It has reached 90 degrees in Iowa this week, which is like mind boggling. Like three weeks ago, it was snowing, okay? <laughs> so, uh, so it's just a little bit light for me right now. I do also have the I Am Magic foundation foundation from Juvia's Place. I do like that one. I have a full face of Juvia's Place uh, actually that I can link that. It's a part of the playlist that I mentioned from Karen Harris in my intro. It is over on there um, but I have a video using that one and I actually liked it a lot more than I thought I was going to because it's a bit more full coverage and it's also a bit more mattifying. Um, so I also do have that one and I thought about using that but a lot of you know that I love my Pat McGrath complexion products so much again i have a full video on that too and i'm filming this on a friday and we like semi have plans tonight i'm just i'm gonna go golfing with my husband not that i know how to golf but i'm gonna like be around with him in the golf cart and just like hang out and do things um and uh, we might see some family tonight i talked about the pat mcgrath skin fetish sublime perfection foundation i say that it's just it brings me a lot of confidence and you know i still definitely have some skin issues i have a lot of redness and um like left like leftover acne pigmentation that i'm trying so hard to fade and this foundation just gives me a lot of confidence when i wear it so we haven't really been seeing a lot of people and um as we slowly are just like i wanna i wanna feel confident you know so i was like um i'm gonna go with my pat mcgrath because i just feel better when i do so um the shade that i am still currently using is light medium 10. i don't this shade works for me like a lot i do like to shake it up because it is pretty liquidy but i also do have um shade 11 but i feel like shade 10 just always somehow seems to work for me like it just looks good on my skin i don't know what it is about this foundation i love it though i love the coverage i love the finish um uh, I, I mean i've been a fan of this one for the longest time so i do have my hair back in a claw clip hashtag 90s child but you know try to make it work here so i'm just gonna go ahead and use that foundation i'm using a sponge from dose of colors and blend that in like I mentioned, I do really like the Pat McGrath Complexion products, so I'm also going to go with the Skin Fetish Sublime Concealer. I have the shade L6 that I like to use on my under eyes. You do just need a small amount. I wasn't sure I was going to love this when I tried it for the first time. I was kind of like, Ehm. It does almost feel like a, just a little bit more drying. But it's so nice. It's so easy to blend out. It is also very full coverage, which I appreciate. This one has been getting a lot of really good reviews too. I would definitely agree. I'm also going to use the concealer just to kind of like sharpen up the eyeshadows on the outer part of my eye here too. 
doing more pressed powders recently. I don't know why. I've been doing a lot of just concealer as foundation and then pressed powders, but I'm going to do a loose powder today because, again, I know that I'm going to be outside in the heat for a while, so I really want everything to stay in place. So, again, from that Pat McGrath um, complexion series, this was her Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Setting Powder, and I'm going to use the shade Light 1 to set my under eyes, and then I am also going to set my foundation. I do have the pressed powder from Pat McGrath also, but again, I just, I feel like the loose powder can like really help lock things in place. So that is what I'm going to use to set here. I do also have the Juvia's Place loose powder. I think it's like the I Am Magic powder under that line too with the, um, there's foundation and concealer. But I do, I like my Pat McGrath just a little bit more and I also feel like, um, just even like shade wise, it just looks like a, a little bit better on me. And then like I said, I am also going to just kind of lightly pat around other places too to set my foundation, especially my chin and forehead T-zone, kind of where my, my oils will pop out a bit first. I'm gonna finish off my eyes before I move over to the rest of my face. So I'm just gonna combine a little bit of fire and also awoke first to my lower lash line and I'm using the Sigma E30 pencil brush. So just mixing those together and running that along my lash line. And then the shade Unsilenced just kept poking it, like just kept poke, poke, poking at me. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of this one too. I'm just gonna use the same brush and I'm going to Kind of pop that like right in the middle of my lower lash line and it just like <laughs> you know i'm an author and i write words for a living but sometimes in my youtube videos i prefer to rely on sound effects to try to get my point across <laughs> and then i'm using my larger blending brush i don't have any extra product on it but i'm just kind of using this to uh, smoke out the lower lash line add some purple to my waterline also and then I'm gonna grab the shade stand up and use a pencil brush also to pop this into my inner corner and I'm also gonna use it as a brow bone highlight off the eyes i'm going to use my mascara from fenty beauty this is the full frontal volume lift and curl mascara i have a mini because it was a like a point perk at sephora but it is a really nice mascara so i'm just going to go ahead i'm going to add two coats to my lashes So those are my eyes using the Wahala palette from Juvia's Place. I really like how this came out. Uh, very happy with it. I feel like all the shades were super easy to use. The mattes, the shimmer, and I really like it. Okay, let's go ahead and finish off my face. So a while back, I received from Juvia's Place the collaboration that they did with Fumi. And this palette here, this is the Queen palette from Fumi X Juvia's. And there are some shades in here that I actually like to use as face shades too. This does make a really beautiful highlight, so that is what I'm going to be using today. And then I think I'm going to use a little bit of Sister Sister actually as my blush. So that is what I'm going to pick up first is the Sister to Sister shade. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on my cheeks because this one is just more of like a almost like a peachy nude, I think I would say. So I'm just gonna use that as my blush. It's really pigmented as a blush, too. So I probably could have used a lighter hand, but honestly, that's okay because again, blush can kind of fade a little bit quicker. And I am about to go out and be in the elements, which I am not complaining about. I'm so excited. <clears throat> I love when the sun comes out and stays out. Honestly, it makes me so happy. Okay, and then for my found or for my foundation, hello, for my highlighter, I'm gonna use FDV Approved. If you are not familiar with Fumi, also, I would really recommend her. She is so sweet. She's so beautiful, but she's so she's also just so kind. It was really exciting to see this collaboration when uh, this came out with Juvia's Place and she did such 
a fantastic job look at that as my highlighter like that is crazy i love my eye look i love it i'm like i'm feeling it i love pink so you guys know me. like if i'm playing with color it's like pinks purples that's i i just i gravitate towards those colors a lot but i just am really feeling on my eye look i'm also really feeling on this highlighter <laughs> show and I'm also adding just a little bit to my nose mm. 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 to finish off the look I just have my lips to go so I'm gonna use a lipstick from Oma Beauty so I purchased a few products from Oma um, they are available at Ulta Beauty I purchased the shade Maya which is um, kind of like a darker nude and this is their badass lipsticks so these are more matte which I really do like so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this really like this shade i think that it goes well with my eye look too i a lot of times i do use a lip liner and i i want to go in and add one but this is from pat mcgrath this is the contour lip liner this is a, a bit more of a nude brown but i feel like i just need something to i used to never wear lip liners and now i'm like <gasps> need a lip liner so i'm just gonna line my lips quickly Whew, okay i just whoo whoo I'll feel better but I really do like this lip combination also so yes okay after that that is going to finish off this get ready with me using a full face of black owned makeup brands I will link all of the products down below I will also link the playlist that I mentioned in the intro if you want to catch more videos like this thank you guys so much for watching I really do appreciate it again I have other links and resources in my description box my description box that you can definitely check out if you want to get involved and uh, support as well I hope that you enjoyed this though let me know what you thought on this a makeup look let's not comment on the hair just comment just just the makeup part okay let me know what you thought other than that though thank you guys so much for watching I do appreciate it if you enjoyed this one make sure to give it a thumbs up I hope that you also consider subscribing before you go and I will see you in my next video bye